All right, so I am going to be giving a, a insulin pin injection. So insulin pins are pre-filled with insulin and um, they come in all different types of insulin. This one just happens to be Lantus, but you will see them in you know, a variety of the different types of insulins. The difference with a pen is that um, you really don't have to draw anything up. Basically, you're just dialing the units that you want. Um, so I just want to show you a couple of things. So it will come with a, a full cap, so you would remove the cap. And what it looks like is um, you have a little stopper on the top there. That is where your actual needle is going to go because we have to be able to get that into the patient. And this is the needle that you're going to use. Okay. However, before you do anything, you want to make sure that you obviously have the right insulin. You've checked that against your, your MAR, but you're going you're gonna to set your dose before you do your three checks because we want to make sure we have a dose so that we don't give the wrong dose. And that's when we'll begin to do our, our three medication checks. We wanna always clean that um, little port off in the beginning. So you wanna do a, a vigorous scrub for about 15 seconds on that one. Okay. All right, so you kinda of let that dry. And then there's various needles. Um, this one is a very common needle that we see it tells you that it's a 30 gauge um, 3 16th. So it's very small. Um, you won't normally see these in um, other types of needles used on syringes. So it's just for the pins. So when you open up the um, needle bottom there, you'll see a little um, actual needle or sharp in there. I don't know if you can see that, but that is going to be puncturing that little rubber stopper in there, okay? So you go ahead and you put that on there. You just push in and you turn to tighten and you know that you have the needle on. The next thing we're gonna wanna do is we're gonna wanna set our, um, first we're gonna prime it. So you always wanna prime the um, pen before you use it or set a dose. Priming is recommended by the manufacturers. So if you can see that this is on zero right now and we're gonna wanna turn it to two. We'll prime with two. And that just wants, wants us to know that it's functioning properly so that the patient is actually gonna get the insulin. So once we have it on the two, then we can, um, you can kind of get a close up. You may see the um, insulin come out there. You may not, but it should. I don't think there's much came out, but you would normally see a little drop of insulin coming out of there. All right, so then when you know that it's functioning, you wanna do the units. So we're gonna say that our patient is going to get 12 units of the Lantus. So we dial it to 12. So now we have our, our dose set at 12 units. Then we can proceed to do our, our checks on this medication before we do the patient's administration. Well, hello, Sylvia. Hello. Hi, Mary from CBTC Technical College. I'm a student nurse. Uh, I am here to give you your Lantus injection this evening. Uh, would you prefer to be called Sylvia? Sylvia. I just want to double check on that. Uh, I need your full name and date of birth. Sylvia Vasquez, 130, 1956. Excellent. That matches my chart. And are you allergic to anything? No. Nope. Okay, wonderful. And how are you feeling right now? Good. Good, you had a good day. Good day. Blood sugars looked really good today. They stayed good. in, you know, they stayed below um, the 200 range and above yeah. the 70 range. So I'm pretty happy about that. And I hope you are too. Yes, All right, very good. Okay, so we're gonna go give your insulin and you've had this before. Mm -hmm. So you kind of know where we're, what we're gonna do here. And again, same as the other insulins, we can choose the outer arm. We can choose the abdomen uh, or the anterior thigh. You could actually go into the upper buttocks area, but um, that isn't used very often. Um, so we already have our dose set. We've done our two checks at the Pixis. We will do our third check here in the room with the patient and the scanner and the computer to verify we have the right um, dose and so forth. Um, and you also wanna double check this with another RN to make sure that you have the right dose before you give it to the patient and the right medication. All right, so the difference between the pen and the um, regular syringe, uh, there's a few differences. It feels kind of different when you're injecting and you also have to keep the skin pinched as you're injecting. All right, we'll let that dry. Um, and pins are really nifty if you, if you get to 
use them. One thing you want to note that once you put that into the skin, this little clear part here, if you want to get closer, it doesn't matter, but it's going to go, it's going to push back and engage the um, spring in there so that you can push the medication in. So you kind of want to hear that click before you go ahead and give it. All right, so I've cleaned the area off. I'm going to pinch. I don't know if it's hard for him to see, but maybe we can bring it in. All right, like okay. that. So I have the area pinched, it's clean. So I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna push this in. So I heard a click. Now I'm ready to inject, keep squeezing. Okay, push it in, I'm gonna hold it. One, two, three, seven, eight, nine, ten. And I'm going to let go and I'm gonna pull out my um, pen. So now we've injected with a pen. So that is how you do that. This is again, like I said, it's a needle. So we wanna make sure that we dispose of that properly and put that in our sharps container and we're going to go ahead and remove our gloves and wash our hands make sure we document um, our administration properly on our chart okay so you have that in um, if you need anything else you have any questions you're all good all good okay great well i'll check back in about a half an hour thank you for letting me um, give you your lantus injection